A shakeup in the race for the Kansas City mayoral position. Jason Kander announcing on Facebook today that he is dropping out of that race. He says he is finally coming to terms with having PTSD after his tour in Afghanistan 11 years ago. In his statement, Kander says he thought running for mayor would help him focus on Kansas City and quote, fill the hole inside of me, but it's just getting worse. 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dahl joins us now with more on this developing story. Stephen. Rhiannon Kander says that he's tired of running and he wants to take this battle on with PTSD. The former Missouri Secretary of State said that he went to the VA just yesterday to start getting help. In a long Facebook post his, so, uh, to his supporters, Kander said that this isn't goodbye. He says, once I work through my mental health challenges, I fully intend to be working shoulder to shoulder with all of you again. He went on to say, but I'm passing my oar to you for a bit. I hope you'll grab it and fight like hell to make this country the place we know it can be. Now, the race for Kansas City mayor is crowded with nine candidates. When Kander announced, Councilwoman Jolie Justice dropped out. Because he wants to focus on his mental health, he will also step aside from the day-to-day -day operation of Let America Vote. We contacted all the candidates who are running for mayor. Many said they are proud of his courage, including Congressman Emanuel Cleaver saying in a tweet, he said in part, he continues to demonstrate traits of, good le of a good leader and is simultaneously taking steps toward ending the stigma associated with mental health, mental illnesses. As for the election, things will move forward as all eyes are on Councilwoman Jolie Justice to see if she will run again. I'm going to have to take some time to let this information settle in. I'm going to have to talk it over with my, my wife and my supporters. And um, once we have a chance to have family discussions, um, I'll be making a decision about what I do next. And as I always tell people, I still have a job to do right now. Uh, that was the same job before, during, and after. Uh, so for me, we just keep uh, doing what we're doing. I think it's important for us now to uh, wrap our arms around Jason Kander uh, and any others uh, in the same situation and offer our love and support for them during this very difficult time. Now the primary for mayor is still a ways away next April at six. We'll look into PTSD, an issue that impacts thousands of veterans each day. Stephen, thanks so much. Live in the newsroom. And as Stephen just mentioned, the primary is April 2nd. New candidates can still enter the race through the first week of January. And then the general election will be on June 18th of 2019. In Kander's statement, he hopes his uh, he says he hopes his honesty will help other veterans suffering for, with PTSD. There is a crisis line that you can call. The number is 1-800-273-8255. That is the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. But if you press one on the menu, it will take you to services specialized for veterans. You can see Kander's full statement as well as other candidate reactions on our website, KSHB.com.